Welcome to the dark stream, Voxday, Voxday.net, and unauthorized.tv. Uh, we're back to the weekly meme review. This is um, weekly meme review number 16. So um, I'm expecting that you've used this long break uh, creatively. Um, hopefully put, some, put together some quality memes. Um, I do have to say that uh, a few of them were taken out for uh, language, uh, recent, recentism. <laughs> um, you know, if it's a meme that's been going around like crazy the last, you know, week, we don't need to submit that here. You know, the, the, the one about being invited to the barbecue and your friend is Haitian. I mean, come on, let's... Let's show some originality here. I mean, I'm not saying that you have to produce a brand new meme on your own, although as we've gone into this more and more, uh, I think that that's where the real challenge is. But uh, if you're going to just send in a meme, let's make it one that everybody hasn't seen 500 times, right? So um, I'm trying to think if there's anything to announce particularly. Not really. Um, you know, we, we've, I think after we talked about the bindery stuff, uh, we've buckled down on that, actually f uh, bought two of the four machines that we identified and found. Um, so things are moving forward well on that front. Um, <laughs> I understand that uh, Owen was uh, spiral spiraling just a little bit about the, the payment stuff. It's under control. Everything's proceeding according to plan. Um, you know, we assumed it was going to take uh, between four and six weeks from the beginning to make sure that everything was done properly, and uh, that's exactly what we're doing. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the weekly meme review. So, uh, this is the uh, this is the pyramid uh, or the the bell curve meme. Uh, it's got winning with fourth generation for warfare, losing with third generation warfare, and then winning with fifth generation warfare. Um, this would have been quite clever two years ago. Uh, it doesn't really work anymore now that the Russians are, are going back to, what, second generation <laughs> warfare and living with that. In fact, that would actually be an improvement on the on the meme um, but anyhow I, I give this one a seven it's competent uh, it's intelligent it's just not necessarily caught up to events uh, you know the what Russia's doing is uh, and, and to a lesser extent what uh, what Ukraine has done is is really uh, it, it never been done before and you know, that's something that uh, very little discussion has entered the, co the public discourse because generally speaking, the military experts don't understand that. Um, even Lind and Van, uh, Van Creveld were totally wrong about how things are gonna go between Russia and Ukraine, much less Russia and NATO. So you know, good meme, could be better. Um, Let's see here, I need to f remember which the, it's been a while, I've got to remember what the buzzer, here we go. Look at me, I'm the ethnic cuisine now. Um, it's funny, but it, it, it doesn't make sense. Um, it would be, this would be better if it was, look at me, you're the ethnic cuisine now. <laughs> you know, um, but it, it's all right, uh, I, I give this one a six. 
Uh, oh, look, here comes the far right. Um, that's uh, a spin off the off the Aztec one. Um, it's not bad. Uh, you know, and obviously the the soldiers it's supposed to be like a, a starship troopers take on that. Um, it, it's clever. I don't think it quite works. Uh, I give this one a seven. This one uh, has an older gentleman looking skeptical says there is really no such thing as a grumpy old man or woman. Uh, truth is when you get older, you stop being polite and start being honest. Um, first of all, this isn't true. Uh, it doesn't point to the truth. It's a little bit on the wordy side. The picture is pretty good, but I give this one a five. It's, it's barely competent in my opinion. Um, Sam wants to discuss the previous one. He says, I think it's referring to ha cannibals in Haiti. I'm sure it is, but even so. Uh, <laughs> this one kind of makes me laugh a bit. Uh, it's a picture of Emperor Hirohito, and it says, it was only five battleships, you sick fucks. Hirohito, August 7th, 1945. Um, it, it's kind of funny. Uh, it's definitely on the uh, esoteric side. Um, I don't think that you need to explain it. And also, generally speaking, leave the language out of the memes. And I'm not saying this because I'm squeamish about language or because I think that clean speech is a part of, of the meme wars. Um, it's because it's cheap impact. If you're relying on uh, the emotional impact of words, specific words, to accomplish the work of the meme, then uh, you know it's less effective than it could be. So um, it's kind of like when when comedians tell a joke. You know, when the joke isn't funny enough, then they throw in the vulgarities to try to give it that exclamation point. If you do it right, you don't need it. <laughs> this one, this one is brilliant. Um, it's, it's got Ben Shapiro uh, at his explanatory best, uh, looking just a little bit dodgy. And it says, these are Judeo-Christian tunnels. Uh, I give this one a 10. It will, it, it not only will trigger the Shapiros and so forth, uh, but it will also trigger all of the uh, foolish churchians and conservatives and ignorant Christians who still believe in Judeo-Christianity. I think, I think this is the top one we've seen so far. Uh, this is an old one, but good one. Uh, kind of timely, I was just posting a, a quote from Locke two days ago. Um, it's got a group of uh, of century, or it's got a group of legionaries and uh, they're all in a, a tortoise shell formation and they're saying get in here to the one guy who's got Reed Locke on his shirt and he looks smug and said and engage in your primitive collectivism I think not and then of course the uh, spear uh, promptly penetrates his chest and kills him and you know, this is a deep meme. This is something that uh, it's it's superficial and funny on the surface, uh, but it makes a deeply significant point that cuts right to the heart of all of the Enlightenment values bullshit, all of the libertarian satanic nonsense. Um, you know, if I had understood this properly in my twenties, it probably would have. Uh, significantly sped up my intellectual development by at least a decade, possibly two. Um, I give this one a nine out of 10. <laughs> this, this is hilarious. Um, it's got a picture of a, a young soldier lifting up a young woman in his arms so that she can 
kiss another soldier goodbye as he's departing on on the bus presumably possibly the train it says the friend zone was invented on this day in 1941 uh, i give this one a 10 it's very good um hits hard makes the point image is good very well done uh, this one you know uh i know who this player is i can't remember her name is alicia something she's a, a swiss national team player uh who also plays uh professionally in england and it's got a um it's got a picture of her looking pretty and uh you know fairly innocent and cute in her swiss national team jersey and it says before england and then uh, after England, she's playing for Aston Villa, and she's got tattoos and way too much makeup. Uh, you can't even see her freckles because her makeup is spray painted on. Alicia Lehman, that's it, yeah. And she's got the notorious, uh, uh, I don't know what they're called, um, scouser, scouser brows or something. Anyhow, and it says bonged. A uh, bong, if, if you're not uh, familiar with pole speak, a, a bong is an English person. And so apparently this is what happens to young women when they move to England. Um, at least that's the meme. This is, this is pretty harsh this, and this is pretty effective. Um, I, I'm going to give this one a 10 as well. We're generous tonight. Uh, here's, <laughs> this one's, this one's. This one might be a 12 for the tar on the as far as the excess of the burn on the on the target. It says your profile pic and it's got a cute looking girl with the tranny flag with tranny flag colored hair. And then it says you in real life. And it's this just horrific monstrosity that actually is from a game that uh has a, a tranny killer in it. Um, I'm going to give this one a nine. Uh, it, it's 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 actually it's very good, but it's a little bit confusing just because, um, you know, it's 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 esoteric, and this you know this is not for the general audience. This is something that's pretty pretty strongly and effectively focused on the uh, the tranny crowd. But it's a good meme. It's a strong meme. Effective meme. Uh, five out of six scientists have proven that Russian roulette is totally safe. That's pretty good. Uh, I'd prefer to see it. It's it's kind of uh, it's kind of pointless. Um, who's it targeting? People who are big believers in Russian roulette, the safety of Russian roulette. <laughs> um, is it? You know, it's it's similar to some memes about democracy. I give the. I mean the the. The construction is good, the image is good, um, but I would give this one a six. Uh, this is an always has been one. Uh, it says, it has Jesus in the place of the planet and says, wait, it's because God loves me. And then says always has been and the astronaut is carrying the cross. It's pretty good. Um, uh, it's the execution is decent uh, I give this one a seven I, I, I'm not sure what it is that doesn't quite work about it but there's something about it that doesn't quite work even though it is it's it's respectably done but um, I'll have to think on that one further uh, this is the a, a fat Wojak talking to the Alpha Chad says, how do you manage to get so strong? Lifting weight in the gym. Well, you know that it's bad for your back. It's kind of funny. Um, I mean, it's very typical. Uh, you know, it's, it's always interesting how um, fat, overweight, out of shape people always have comments about uh, the, the possible dangers of, of your workout practice but um, anyhow I, I give this one a I give this one a seven 
I like the message of this one a lot. Um, the picture is not bad, needs better text. It says, be the windmill at which evil tilts. Um, I, I th think that might be, I think that's a paraphrase of something that I said. I don't think it's a quote, but it sounds vaguely familiar. Um, although, ironically, I pay less attention to what I say than a lot of people do. <laughs> Anyhow, um, it's a good meme. Uh, needs some polishing, but I, I give this one a, a seven. I, I like the picture, like I said, N needs to improve on the text. As a general rule, stay away from serif fonts. Sans serif usually work better. Uh, <laughs> this is one that is clearly uh, aimed directly at me. Uh, it's it's the old, um, I don't remember the name for this font, or this, this meme, but it's the old one uh, looking where the, the guy is with the one girl looking back at the other one. Um, <laughs> it has the, the, the normie Sheba with, your, with a dog call around it saying your normie meme. Uh, the guy has uh, the Dark Lord's mask on it. And, <laughs> and there's an otter. It says, my shameless neuro-enhanced cyber otter patterning. That's pretty funny, um, but I, yeah, I'll, I'll give I'll give this one a I'll give this one an eight. <laughs> I think. I mean, for me, obviously it's totally meaningless to anyone outside our community, but I do find it amusing. Uh, here's the Anakin meme. I really hate the Republican Party. You must be pretty left wing then. He looks at her. You must be pretty left wing, right? <laughs> um, obvious, decent, text isn't great. I'll give this one a six. Uh, here's another very esoteric one, but this one's this one's pretty well done. Uh, there's a, <laughs> a a jet going down in rainbow smoke and rainbow flames. Um, and it's got the Doom Lord and Malwin, or, or Move, sorry, uh, the Doom Lord and Move. And she says, Well, we don't know it's DEI, but it's DEI. And then the Doom Lord says, Should have read Corporate Cancer, which is true. What is say Boeing? You know, this points to the truth. Uh, it's, it's well done. Um, they even used all caps. Um, however, it's not comic. It's not. Com it's not a comic font. You know, gotta. If you're gonna, if you're gonna bring the heat, bring the heat. I, I give it a nine out of ten. It's very good, it, although esot esoteric. Um, and then this has, this is the classic one. It's a really well done version of it. Uh, it's got a Saluki. Uh, speaking to a rather worried looking golden retriever saying, but we're all one race, the dog race, with a, a pack of slavering pit bulls trying to get over the fence into the backyard with the golden retriever. Uh, this is a straight up 10. Uh, graphics are great. Um, nice AI. Uh, fonts good. Points to the truth. Great rhetoric. This is a 10. <laughs> this one always just kind of makes me laugh, but it's got uh, Alex Jones saying, the elites don't want you to know this, but church is free. You can just walk in. I go every week. It's funny. Um, I give this one a, a seven. I don't quite get the point of this one. Um, it's basically taking uh, the T out of various pictures with the Beatles and then saying the Beals, we love the Beals, the Beals. Uh, obviously it's uh, a bit esoteric, not that my name is a secret, but uh, I'm less well known uh, that way and so forth. Um, I'm not even going to rate this one because I, I don't even understand the point. I mean, the, the graphics are pretty good, so I'll, I'll give this one a four. Uh, 
this is a Triglypuff, picture of Triglypuff. It says, I used to think feminism is cancer, but now I see it's diabetes. Um, I'm not crazy about this one just because like she's fat, feminists are fat, diabetes. Eh. I give this one a five. It just strikes me as a bit, a bit lazy. Um, wow. This has, uh, it says gaslighting, psychological manipulation. That has a entire paragraph from Wikipedia about gaslighting along with a whole bunch of pictures, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, this is a mess. This is not quality memeage. This is also, I mean, this is dialectic. It's not even rhetoric. Um, and <laughs> Q1882 still hasn't exhausted his unauthorized wallet, and he throws in a super chat uh, stream support, he says. Thank you, Q1882. Um, much appreciated. Uh, and also, <laughs> like, your discipline is impressive. Clearly, you passed the Stanford Marshmallow study. Uh, anyhow, the, this gaslighting one, I mean, I, I give this one a two just because they actually did a decent job of layout, but it's completely, I mean, this is nearly a, it's a wall of text and a wall of pictures. They're both, both no-nos when it comes to meme making. This is a nice uh, compare and contrast meme. Uh, it's got a picture of the, the, the kid. Um, it says, Deadspin, the NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs fan in blackface native headdress. Dated November 27th, uh, 23. Then staff at Deadspin just received an email informing that the company has been sold to a European firm and none of them will be retained. Um, March 11th. Uh, yeah, somebody said, uh, well, actually, someone was referring to the previous one as a bit boomery. I find this one a bit boomery. Um, it doesn't really point to the truth, uh, not directly. It kind of leads leaves the impression that Deadspin got shut down because they were trying to get people to attack this this kid who's a Chiefs fan. Um, uh, I, I, I give this one a, a, a five. This one is really good art. I don't quite get it. I'll, I, I mean, it looks like Owen, and there's a king with a black baby on his lap, and then death. I'll buy it. A farmer's offer as the wise king decides a child's fate. Uh, like I said, great graphics. I legitimately have no idea. I, I know it has something to do with Owen, but um, I don't know if he was uh, trying to make, I don't know if they're trying to make the point that slavery is better than death. Um, So since I have no idea what's going on, but the art is pretty good, I'll give it a four. Abortion versus slavery. Um, maybe. Anyhow, um, Owen was saying slavery is better than abortion. Um, yeah, that's just, I mean, that's bad rhetoric. Uh, I mean, that's, that's literally straight up dialectic there. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's what I thought it was, but anyhow, uh, but you know, it, it's not funny. I mean, I mean, I, I get it, but memes are not about making sense. It's not about logic. It's not about dialectic. Um, I mean, just merely the, the, the black baby on, in the, sitting on the king's lap is somewhat distasteful, somewhat off-putting to the, to the very target. So anyhow, I, I think this one's about a, the, the art is good. That's the only thing that's really good about it. I give this one a three. Uh, the Walking Dead, White House edition. Joe Biden falling on the stairs. Yawn. Um, I mean, this is, this is a, 
this is practically the definition of a, a, a boomer gab meme. Um, I give it a four. <laughs> I like this one quite a bit. Um, it's got, it's the Gamergate, uh, the ride never ends, but it's got a, a red clown nose on the, the skull and the helmet is replaced with a rainbow clown wig. And it says the retard never ends. Um, it's really good. Uh, I give this one an eight out of 10. I, it should say the retardery never ends in my opinion, but it's good. It's very good. This one is kind of fun. I mean, it's too wordy, but it's kind of funny. Um, it's got six frames with Legos and the male Lego is talking to the female Lego saying, and that's what a Sigma male is. Thank you. That was fascinating. Why did you want to hear about alphas and betas and so forth? I wanted to understand it more. Oh, is, they can't even tell who's talking. I want to understand it more so I could ask you a question. Go on. How could you say there are only two genders when you have seven categories for just male? And then the Lego figure looks angry. Um, this is too much. It's a mess. Um, you're trying to get, the, you're almost having to get two separate ideas across. I mean, they're not completely separate. There is a connection, but it's too much. So uh, the art, the, the, the Lego picture setup is good. Um, the text, the text identification is not, you need to use different colors so you can be certain who's talking and so forth. Um, Anyhow, I, I give this one a, a six because I like the graphics. Uh, <laughs> this one is fantastic. It says, it's time to chase the snakes out of Ireland again. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And it's got a picture of the uh, gay foreign Irish prime minister. Uh, this one is, this is this one's a 10. A timely, timely 10. Uh, Asian castles, European castles, African castles, Jewish castles, and it's a manhole cover. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's as funny as people would like to think it. I, I, I give this one like a, a six. There's much better Jewish tunnel memes, much better Jewish tunnel memes. Uh, I like this one because this one is uh, this one is another deep meme. It has it has the happy Irishman controlling all the the fat Americans who are saying things like the potato famine was the saddest moment in history. I'm a proud Irish American. The Irish are good people. Northern Ireland is Irish. The Brits are massacring them. You know, so obviously it's a uh, refer to a certain tribe without being accused of referring to a certain tribe. Um, it's pretty well done. Uh, again, a bit esoteric. <laughs> your, your average person is, is not going to get it. Um, but anyhow, I, I give this one a seven. Uh, I have to admit, I, I like, I really like the imagery. I don't get this one very well. It says me when some rando wants to thank me for my service. And it's got the lieutenant, the, the legless lieutenant looking like a hippie and very skeptical. And then it says me when Home Depot wants to thank me for my service. And it's got the, the admiral with, uh, I think it might be from Sound of Music or something, but it's just got, you know, medals covering his chest and looking very aristocratic and, and military. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, this is, this is called, uh, Vox doesn't live in, in the USA. <laughs> so he has no idea what's going on. Um, apparently there's a 10% discount at Home Depot for vets. Fair enough. I like it. I give this one, I give this one an eight, even though I didn't get it. So it's good. Um, Oh, I see. Apparently that was Zukov in the death of Stalin. 
my apologies. But that that does explain all the medals. I didn't remember the guy from Sound of Music having that many medals. Um, I don't remember Zukov looking anything like that either. I thought he was like completely bald, but anyhow. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, this has a whole bunch of uh, bullet holes shot in a bomber. And it says, transgender and non-binary patients have no regrets about top surgery, small study finds. Um, so basically, it's like, apparently this is a plane that landed safely despite getting shot up. And so I, I don't know, I'm, it, it's, it's not a, it's not a good meme. Um, I'll give this one a, I'll give, yeah. <laughs> Zach Logs explaining survivorship bias illustration. Yeah, right there, you know it's not going to be an effective meme. So I'll give it a five. Uh, fighting Jews creates good men. Good men creates good times. Good times make men forget the Jew. Ignoring Jews creates bad times. Um, it's actually pretty deep, although it shouldn't say uh, it'd, it'd be much more effective if it said, if it had a picture of the, you know, um, the Spanish Inquisition and it said expelling Jews creates good men. Um, but the, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously going to be tremendously triggering to uh, the ADL and everybody else. Um, anyhow, I give this one a, a, it's a little bit awkward and stuff, so I'll give it a seven. I saw this one here. It says, uh, boomer humor. I hate my wife. Millennial humor. I hate my life. Gen Z humor. It's the time to rejoice. Behold, the cheese stick hath returned. Um, that's funny on several levels, uh, especially because as always, Generation X <laughs> is completely overlooked, forgotten, and quite happy to be overlooked and forgotten. Um, if, if that's intentional, uh, that that gives it an extra point for, for the uh, for the omission of Gen X. Um, anyhow, it's funny, and it does actually explain the differences in, in those types of the, the kind of humors that you often see exhibited by those generations. Um, I'll give this one an eight. <laughs> this one is really good. It's got the Death Star blowing up a planet and Grand Moff Tarkin saying, we had intelligence that there was a Hamas official on Alderaan. And Princess Leia says, a Hamas official? But you murdered billions of people. He says, Princess, I hadn't realized you were anti-Semitic. That's a 10. Uh, that's a 10, and that's a serious contender for uh, Meme of the Week. This one has got that kind of ugly pole uh, cartoon thing, but it says, Intersectionality for Dummies, Global Satanism and its arms, Education, Lawfare, the Science, Healthcare Foundations, Charities, Corporations, Government, Churchians, Media. Um, again, dialectic. Too much dialectic. Um, as a meme, it's a three. You know, all it's doing is explaining intersectionality. So that's not what memes are about. It's not. It's not bad. It does explain it, but this one is funny. Uh, it it should have the title on it. the The title on the file was Juan Wins, and uh, it's got a boomer. Uh, pushing a lawnmower, which appears appears to be kicking up water for some reason, but uh, the graphics are fantastic, um, and uh, Juan is just hanging out on his lawn chair, having a having some sort of chick drink with a Mexican flag in the suburbs. Um, the uh, it, it's it's very good. Um, I give this one I give this one a nine. You know, if you're doing memes, use the AI, use the AI art. You get better graphics. 
This one says, Boomers, you're king. And it's got Matthew Perry. It says, News, despite not having children, Matthew Perry's will specified that any children he had would not be entitled to an inheritance. He was a ticket taker, obviously. Um, again, dialectic, not rhetoric. Uh, boomers don't care about Matthew Perry, even if he is technically a boomer, which I'm not sure that he is or not. You know, um, this is trying too hard and it's too dialectic. So I give this one a four. Uh, this is a parental one. It's got an, it's got an old picture of uh, a, a grandfather, a father walking and um, the son is walking in exactly the same way. It says, children will follow your example more than your advice. This is wisdom, and this is a, this is a good, solid meme. Um, it definitely, you know, it's got a little bit of that, uh, that cats in the cradle vibe to it. So I give this one, a, I give this one an, an eight, although I would, put, I would have moved the text down so it's not in the middle. Zach Log says it's an 8-2. Good call. Now you know why everybody supports Ukraine. And it's got a two-face image of Zelensky and Soros, and they do look alarmingly alike. <laughs> Again, I, I, is it true? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, but it's pretty effective. So um, I give that one a 7. Uh, this is a cheerful cowgirl wearing a Texas flag shirt, smiling and saying, only traitors help invaders. Uh, probably an effective slogan back in the 1940s. Uh, these days, probably not so much. Um, but I'll, I'll give it a, I like, I mean, the graphics are great. Um, the, the lettering's great. I, I give this one a seven. This is, it's called a meme. It's like a little digital seed of truth that you can use to trick people into learning something important. Um, pure dialectic, um, mildly amusing. I'll give it a six. Uh, Laurie's seasoned soap. And it's uh, obviously uh, on that whole uh, rumor or fact, I don't actually know. Uh, that apparently some black people wash their chicken or something. Honestly, who cares? Um, you know, I, I I give this one a just because it's it's well done uh, graphically. I give this one a three, but um, you know, it, it's it, the the only people that might possibly be triggered by this uh, wouldn't get it. So. Uh, this is, this is the, uh, I know it's, it's funny, but it's a, it's a wall of text. Uh, I personally kind of like it, but as a meme, it's like a five. And this is the tranny, uh, what's her name? Paige. Um, I don't even remember what her or... I don't remember what her original name is or what her, her male name is, but uh, it says, when you thought you'd get paid more if you became a dude, but now you're just a 5'1 unemployed actor who learned the wage gap is fake. Um, <laughs> it kind of seems like kicking, uh, kicking a, a very depressed dog when it's down. Um, but, you know, it's, it's in a good cause and that sort of thing. I, I give this one a six. Ellen Page, that was her name. So <laughs> this one's pretty good. It's got Zelensky looking worried and it's got uh, Manuel Noriega and Saddam Hussein, Osama bin Laden and Muammar Gaddafi all looking down from heaven with faded headlines uh, talking about their alliances with the USA um, and Zelensky realizing that his fate is probably going to be that of past American allies. 
Um, this one is, I think, a, I think this is an, a nine. It, it it looks like it's a little bit wordy, but it's not really because they're just there as as backup. The the image is strong, and Zelensky's facial expression is really funny. Uh, this uh, obviously is a straight ten. Um, it's got an otter with his stuffed animal. Um, I don't know what what more to say. I mean, it's perfect. Um, it will make it, it will have an emotional impact on anyone, uh, making them feel making them feel good about it. Um, it doesn't need words. The best memes don't even need words. So uh, straight ten. Uh, this I do not get at all. It's actually a pretty good image of a cyber rhino uh, stabbing zombie Ronald Reagan in the neck. Um, I think maybe it's making a point about uh, you know Republicans in name only stabbing retroactively stabbing Reagan, but um, I don't know. I just it's kind of an interesting image, but. It's, it's a bit out there. I, I give that one a, a six. And we're back to the beginning, which means that we have completed the weekly meme review. And uh, I will announce the winner. Good, good memes. I mean, we didn't, we had very few uh, low rated memes. Those that were low rated were mostly low rated because they were unclear. Um, or or dialectic, which is a, a common mistake. Um, you know that's one that's fixable. You just have to learn. Uh, Zach Lock says weekly. Look, it's just a name. It's we're talking about rhetoric. See, the weekly draws you in and makes you feel good about the uh, about the fact that we're going to do it every week, even though you know perfectly well that we're not. See, this is meta rhetoric. We're like, we're like squaring the rhetoric here. Sounds convincing. And now you know why you don't. The smart people, you know, people say, "Well, shouldn't smart people rule?" And it's like, no, smart people should not rule because smart people are the only people that can rationalize really stupid things in a way that sounds good and and genuinely convince you that something that's really bad and stupid is going to be smart and good. So, um, <laughs> but hey, maybe I'm reviewing memes every week and I'm just not broadcasting them, okay? If, if, if a meme is reviewed on a weekly basis. If memes are reviewed on a weekly basis, but the review is not streamed, is it not reviewed? You know, I mean, by that definition, I, uh, I, I review memes every day, right? Uh, Zach Log says, there are some ideas that are so insane, only a smart person can believe them. Oh, it's worse than that. There are some ideas that are so insane that only a smart person can understand them and to be convinced by them. You know, um, one of the things that you have to be cautious of, particularly if you are highly intelligent, is to not believe your own bullshit. It's very, very important not to get carried away with your rhetoric. I see this happen all the time with people. You know, they don't even have a position on something. They start arguing with someone else. They like their argument so much that they, they become emotionally attached to the position that they don't even believe in. Uh, Ayer also sends a super chat. Wow, two super chats still, even in these latter days. Uh, Ayer says, thanks for the good time meme review. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sensing a common theme here, a common critical theme here that we might need to consider re renaming the, uh, the meme review. 
I will contemplate that. Um, Zach Log is inspired now. He says, story idea. Someone picks up the Necronomicon and is too stupid to be harmed by that. Uh, that's absolutely true. You know, it was kind of funny. You know, people, until I explained the absolute logical necessity of smart men preferring less intelligent women and managed to spell it out to women who were offended by that until they realized that they were just going to be, you know, alone. They're going to die alone and, and unloved if men were hypergamous like women were, right? Um, uh, thank you very much. Another James, he adds a third super chat. He says, just adding another super chat. Thank you, another James. Um, anyhow, it's kind of funny. <laughs> there's, there's more super chats now that people can't buy any super chats than there have been on streams when we could. Crazy. Anyhow, um, but you know, I've, I've never, I mean, I mean, in a relationship, how often do you have, <laughs> Mark, Mark D is now just like piling on. He says, let's make it four. Thank you, Mark D. Um, but you know, guys, we're not going to have the stuff turned on like in the next two or three days. So, you know, hold your fire, save your fire. Um, let, let's, let's, let's practice more delayed gratification as it were. Anyhow, um, you know, so, some of the least intelligent women I've ever known have just been the most delightful. You know, they were literally too stupid to like pick fights. You know, how's that a bad thing? You know, okay, you're not going to have any conversations about Dostoevsky or uh, and and <laughs> taking one to the original David Lynch Dune uh, is going to lead to a long conversation, but it's not necessarily going to be one that you either want to have or really even comprehend. Um, you know, trying to explain David Lynch's Dune to someone who might have an IQ of about 84. Um, and obviously hasn't read the book is, is challenging, you know, um, you know, and now obviously there are significant downsides. Like, uh, you might not want to really have children with somebody who's that low IQ, but just in terms of like being around them, you know, it's kind of nice to be around people that are pleasant and happy and you know I mean who doesn't like being around a dog that's wagging its tail right it's I mean it's it's a an, it's an extension of that principle and so anyhow um the uh but yeah I, I think that that's legitimate um Sam says, did we change the submission protocol for memes or did I miss the deadline? I emailed one over. Um, it, I don't look at who sends what. So there were about five or six memes that, that got nuked beforehand. So, um, so I don't know if you had uh, excessive vulgarity or uh, it was excessively obvious. Who knows? Who knows? Um, try again next week or try again next allegedly week. Good times. Um, if that makes any sense. So, all right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this has been the, what may or may not be the weekly meme review. And I will post the winner tomorrow. Have a good evening. I'm Vox Day. This is what is known as the dark stream. Thank you.